What's up guys, it is Friday here, uh, New Year's Eve at American Heritage Performance and we are gonna do some quick dyno testing for you. Uh, we have on the dyno one of our 442 LS7s. Uh, this one has a very small camshaft in it. Uh, it's actually what's known as our stage 1.5 cam uh, or the, it's also called the priest cam uh, for the 442 displacement. Um, essentially this priest cam is our 116 cam but for the 442 instead of the 427. So really small cam designed for max drivability. Um, can barely hear it's in there when it's actually with, with the exhaust system on the car. Um, just a really, really small cam that's really good with this displacement. Uh, so today we're gonna be doing some testing and essentially what we're gonna do is big shout out to Haltech who sent us a uh, two of their awesome cold air intakes. Uh, we have the 103 that they sent us and then we also have a 108 that they gave us as well. So we are going to uh, run the 103, we're gonna stick the 108 on, and we're gonna see if it changes anything. Um, Haltech's one of my absolute favorite intake manifolds. I think they're one of the best engineered intake manifolds on the market today. Uh, Bear Ram is also very good. Uh, however, Haltech, uh, in my opinion, takes the cake. So uh, my favorite intake is Haltech by far. Um, we're gonna get the dyno warmed up, we're gonna start it up, uh, and then we'll make some poles, and then we'll swap it out, we'll make some more poles, and we won't really change anything in the tune, because I just wanna see back-to-back -back stuff if there really is any gain from 108 to 103. We're, gonna, we're here in the control room, we're gonna get the uh, engine fired up, we're gonna get the oil up to temp, and then we're gonna make some runs and see what we got. We are 
warm and we're going to start our test. This engine makes power foot fairly early, uh, roughly around 6,300 is peak, so we're going to go to about 64, 6,200 or so, um, just because the camshaft profile. So we're going to go to 64 on this test just so we get some good data. Um, no reason to go any higher than that with this cam. So, here's what we got. It looks like we have a total of 6.38 and 5.91 on the torque. So 638 horsepower, 591 pounds of torque. That is a heck of a lot of torque. Uh, and look at that graph, man. That torque comes in early. Spike right here is uh, is actually the servo on the graph. So don't worry on the dyno. Don't worry about that. All right, so we have some good numbers for the 103. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's stick the 108 on there and then let's do another pull and see what we come up with. All right, we made the switch from the 103 to the 108. So now we're gonna fire it up and see what happens. test is all queued up properly. We have the right data in here, which we do. We're going to be pulling from 2,500 RPMs to 6,400 RPMs. And let's go. wise we are at let's see if I can do this here without messing the whole thing up we are at 643 594 so really not much difference if we go in here and we go in and we select overlay we choose the last run which was We compare it, it looks like we picked up on the 108. We picked up, we're at 643, and on the other, we'll have to look at it on the chart, but I think the other one's right at 638. So we'll, com we'll compare it on the actual breakdown of the chart and uh, it'll be easier to see. So we'll follow up with you. All right, guys, we just wrapped up with our Haltech 108 versus 103 intake manifold testing on our engine dyno today. Results are the 108 intake produces five horsepower and three pounds of torque more than the 103 intake. That is with all other factors being the same. So same day, same weather conditions, same dyno, uh, no tuning changes whatsoever, same exact fuel in the tank. Um, essentially back to back as close as we could get them. There were probably are some small changes such as room temperature uh, that will change as it cools off. Um, coolant temp, well, I tr 
tried to keep that constant, but I may need to do a better job in the future of, of trying to keep all the constants there. But we're learning as we're going on this dyno. There's kind of a lot to it. So stay tuned for more stuff.